So what's your name and where do you study? Um, I'm Katie Ward and I study at Salford University. And can you give some back information as to you and your twin? So me and my twin uh, were born on February 4th, a month early. I am the older twin by 10 minutes and significantly taller because of that. Um, I do like to rub that in her face. <laughs> um, she's currently back at home studying art. Uh, she's going to uni next year, but I've obviously gone this year. So this gap difference of like distance, how does that like affect you at the moment? Um, I miss her a lot, being away from home, because I'm used to seeing her every day and now I don't, but we text frequently and we Skype frequently and communicate through memes. So. Uh, uh, what is your student story that you want to share? Provide as much detail as you can. So my student story is when I had my sister around for the first time to my flat. Um, I told my flatmates that she was my twin, but they didn't realise how similar we looked. It was very much like a Zack and Cody moment, I think, um, with an identity crisis. So she came on the train station and I went to go pick her up. So uh, you ready to go see Catfish tonight? Yeah, it's going to be wicked. I haven't played Longshot. That's like one of my favourite songs. In a bit. In a bit. Um, and when I brought her back, a few of them came in and out, said hello. Uh, but I was with her, so obviously they knew the difference. Are you excited for tonight? Yeah, what's the plan? Uh, we're going to get pizza and then get ready. However, one of our flatmates hadn't quite met her yet. Um, she was hungry, so I went to go order pizza, and while it was arriving, I left the flat and I told her to stay in the kitchen. Oh, the pizza's here. Oh, okay, I'll just wait here. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to go get it. And the flatmate in question who hadn't met her knew I dyed my hair but didn't know what colour, so when he came into the kitchen after I just left, all he saw was a girl with my face with um, dyed hair. Hey, you alright? And they start talking to her saying, oh, you've dyed your hair, that's really cool. How did you, do, did you and Charlotte do that last night? And then she kind of really clocked on that. He was actually talking to me, thinking it was me. <laughs> so how's your day been? Oh yeah, fine. Yeah, did you dye your hair? Yeah, and like my sisters. Cool. So she was kind of stalling with that until I finally burst through the door and I saw hatred and confusion flash before his eyes <laughs> at the prospect of me walking through the door and then realising Elizabeth had tricked him. The pizza's here. Oh, finally. Wait, what? Oh, did you not realise this is my sister? Hi. Sorry, I couldn't resist. And why was this moment so special to you? It was special because we used to be able to do it as kids. I think the longest amount of time we managed to trick someone to thinking we were the opposite to him was an hour. But we haven't been able to do that since we were kids. So the fact that someone had fallen for it, I had to jump on that opportunity. It does not come around often. 